The global financial crisis explained in two minutes. Let's go. The global financial crisis of 2007-2008 was a major financial crisis that affected the world economy. It began in the United States and then spread rapidly to other countries. The crisis was caused by a combination of four key factors. One, subprime mortgages. Two, the housing market bubble. Three, financial institutions like investment banks. And four, a lack of regulation. All right, the first one, subprime mortgages. Sub means below, prime means the best or premium. So subprime is below the best. So below average. Many people with poor credit history were given given subprime mortgages, i.e. loans, to buy homes that they eventually couldn't afford. These loans were known as subprime mortgages. These loans were also packaged into financial securities that the investment banks were investing in. Number two, the housing market bubble. So as a result of lots of people buying homes, because now they can afford to do so, given subprime mortgages, house prices started increasing. This created a housing market bubble, which eventually burst. All right, number three, financial institutions. Many of the large financial institutions, like the investment banks, all invested heavily in subprime mortgage-backed securities. So when the housing market bubble burst and people defaulted on their loans, the investment banks and those who invested in these financial securities were in trouble. The value of these securities plummeted, causing huge losses for these financial institutions. Last but not least, number four, the lack of regulation. There was a lack of regulation in the financial services industry, which allowed these poor practices to occur without any proper oversight. The global financial crisis of 2007-2008 had far-reaching impacts all over the world. Many financial institutions faced bankruptcy, a lot went bust, some had to be bailed out by governments, and the general public lost their faith in the financial system. As a result, the crisis led to a sharp decrease in economic growth, increase in unemployment, and a heavy drop in the stock market. This crisis should serve as a reminder of the importance of regulation and oversight in the financial services industry in order to prevent such events from happening. Again, before you go, if you've got a finance term that you don't understand, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a two minute explainer on it. If you aren't already, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.